Hey, what is up, you guys? I am here with Phoebe Ryan. How are Hi. you? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing really well. I'm excited awesome. to finally be chatting with you. <laughs> so wonderful. Kisses tasting like chronic. Give me some because I want it. Congratulations on all your success that you've had Thank lately. you so much. Thank uh, you. Very buzzed about artists. Do you feel that energy? Yeah, I mean, it's... It's always very surprising just meeting fans that I haven't met before and like going to cities that I haven't been and like feeling that energy constantly is just like, okay, wow, this is really happening. What was, that, what was your first touring experience like? Like what was the, the biggest lesson you learned? It's exhausting, especially like we did, the, the first week was six shows in a row and I was on vocal rest pretty much at every point when I was not on stage. So you like couldn't and even talk to people? Like yeah, <laughs> I was just like doing sign language with my band and I have so much respect for the people that just do it all the time. Any standout fan moments you had? There was this group of kids in Salt Lake City that just were, even on my slow songs that are just like very chill, they were just dancing. I love that. So hard and it didn't stop like they just like were so excited to be there and that really like that stands out to me for some reason in my mind. Congratulations because you have a song on Britney Spears' yeah. album Glory. The song is Man on the Moon. Yeah. That's a pretty big deal. I, can, I still can't even believe that because I grew up listening to I Britney mean, and I'm just like the I'm such a huge fan of hers and she's I don't know she's an icon Britney. and it's Britney. Britney. <laughs> what did, how did that come about? We wrote this song and we were like, wow, this is something very special. And we didn't know what was going to happen with it. But then Britney heard it and she just got excited about it. And it's on her Wait, but freaking you there record when she now. Even heard it or I wasn't was, there. How was no. your reaction when you found out? When they're like, oh yeah, uh, NBD, but Britney Spears is going to take your uh, your song. I was just beside myself. I yeah. was just like, I couldn't even handle it. And it's funny that you just said NBD because I literally just got my first tattoo on my leg really? and it says NBD. When did you get it? I don't it? know if you can see it, but I got it like... Oh, nice! <laughs> it actually it stands for, it? for No Bad Days and I got, a ma I got it matching with two of my best friends. That's and cute. we didn't do it at a tattoo parlor. We did it on a couch with a needle and ink. Wait, what? I wouldn't recommend Wait, it, it? for like, anyone. You, you, that's like, um, did you ever see Harriet the Spy? That's what it reminds me of. When they <laughs> like you know they like do their own tattoos yeah it's rough i wouldn't recommend it it really hurt so was it was like you do my tattoo then i'll do your kind of thing oh i wasn't in charge of any okay. of the tattooing it was like a mutual friend of ours that took care of it but i just thought it just reminded me because it's like so fresh i'm yeah. so excited about That's it exciting. and then congratulations <laughs> so your recent single dollar bell why do you think fans are reacting to it in such a positive way I think everyone can kind of relate to the idea of like just wanting to really strive to be special and be something bigger. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the dialogue has started to be open about like, how about a woman being on the dollar bill? Like, how about that? When we wrote it, it uh, I, I don't remember if that was even a thought yet, but it, it's super cool that now it's becoming okay. a reality. Yeah, it's a reality. What, so. do you, what do you spend your dollar bills on? I really like nice food, like good food, okay. solid food. Also musical instruments, that like that food and instruments. Do you dye your own hair? Do you just spend it? Yeah. On? Okay. <laughs> you I, I have you. a girl that helps me when like I need to start like bleaching it, but I usually just throw dye on top of okay. what I'm working with. <laughs> be Real is the next single that's coming out. That's yes. going to be off your upcoming album, correct? Yeah. Okay. I'm working on the record. Can you give us any hints about Be Real and what it's going to sound like? Is it similar to the stuff you already have? Is it different? I wrote that song from like a really meaningful place. It's kind of dark. What's it about? Uplifting. It's about somebody that's just not being honest with you and you're just dying for them to just give you any sort of indication that they're with you, you know, that they're that they're on the same page as you and it's just like that struggle of somebody not opening up fully and you're just like Man, just be real. Dude. It'll be fine. I'm here. Like, just be real. Can you give me a lyric in the song that you're excited about? A little teaser? Sure. So the chorus is, Baby, am I enough? You gotta tell me the deal. 
Um, why am I not remembering the lyric? <laughs> you know it's easier telling lies, but tonight just be real. I was, there's two parts to it, so I was like, which one is better? Which one should I say? <laughs> I'm excited for that. When does it? When and when is it going to come out? Do you know? It's coming out next month. Okay. Yeah, October. Yeah. Cool. And then month. obviously your fans are so excited about your album. Can you tell us any details, release date, title, anything to get them even more excited? It's honestly still such a work in progress, and I know everyone is probably like what is going on it's been like forever but it really is i'm trying to be so careful with everything do you have like a bunch of songs written at this point yeah oh my gosh and so it's more so just like, many. like crossing off and i feel like that would be the hardest part is limiting it down once you have like yeah i mean there's so many but i know which ones are the standout songs so what is inspiring you right now for this album something that's been inspiring me a lot lately is family. I recently went on a road trip with my older brother, just the two of us. And it was only four days long, but it was kind of the most fun thing I've ever done oh, in my nice. life. And just thinking about family and friends and people that you need to keep close in your life. And uh, that's kind of just what I've been thinking about all the time recently. That's cool. And I don't know if you can give me anything on this, but I feel like a lot of mm -hmm. times albums sort of tell a story from the beginning to the end. Do you have sort of like Ooh. a story? kind of coming out with this one that you can kind of tease or what do you want the story to be maybe? That's a really great question. I'm not sure. I think it's like unfolding before my eyes That's as it's happening, okay. you know? I love that you, and we kind of talked about it a little bit, but you started out writing for other artists. Who's someone that's like taught you the most or maybe you took away a lot from working with them? Tori Kelly was very inspiring to work with. She is just, she's literally the best singer I've yeah. ever worked oh, yeah. with. And she's just very true to herself. And it was pretty inspiring being around her energy. And I love that uh, Taylor Swift had, have, has given you a shout out before, which is awesome. Yeah, what was that about? Uh, how, have you met her before? I haven't. No, I have okay. yet to meet her, but when I meet her, I'm going to say big thanks. Yeah. And I love her music. And. And that's She's that. Amazing. Yeah, just <laughs> thanks, girl. Dang. Um, you know? I, I saw you when you were touring with Charlie Puth. Who oh, awesome. Great. Yeah. Um, and our fans love Charlie, so I was wondering if you could give us any, like, like if something about Charlie that maybe people don't know. I guess people, maybe people know, but we're from the same hometown. Okay. We, we grew up literally right down the road from each other. I went to one of his piano recitals when he was really young and he's kind of always been freakishly talented. Oh gosh. He's like like shredding on piano. <laughs> I was like, whoa, I had no idea this kid was like just living down the street and so talented. Have you guys ever written together? We haven't. That would be amazing, you would though. To. It would be super actually, fun. Since you guys did a little little tour together. You haven't. I know. Yeah, we gotta get on that. He's so busy. He's just oh, like, yeah. yeah. It's just our paths haven't brought us together in that way. But being on tour with him was definitely really exciting, and we like super bonded. It was just I love yeah, that. it was awesome. Awesome. So getting back to the album, when can we potentially expect? Like, what are you thinking? Like. 2017, mm. end of 2017. I think that that's realistic at okay. this point. Like early 2017. It's possible. Okay. It's so <laughs> po it it's so possible. So you're shooting a music video tomorrow for what? For Be Real. Okay, for Be Real. Yeah. And what can you tell us? Because you were just saying you, she gets to pick her love interest. I get to interest. pick. And I get to pick the cutie in the video with me. But she's meeting after this interview. Yeah. So I'm you so nervous. <laughs> I'm Wait, so nervous. But how does, so how does that work? So you kind of get a bunch of different pictures and you sort of get to pick them out? Yeah, usually that's how it works. Like I get like, you know, a, a few options, but this one they kind of just sent me this guy and I was like, yep, he's the <laughs> one. He's the one for me. That, that, I think, just think that's so funny how that works. Like it's... I might have also stalked him on Instagram. So that made me more nervous actually because he has a very beautiful girlfriend. Really? Yeah. Oh. There's not gonna, you know, but that like, there's less Less pressure, pressure on me. True. Yeah. Do you have to make out with him in the video, or do some kissing? Yeah. There's some. There's some smooching. Oh. There's some like hot and heaviness. Ooh. What, what's the concept of the video? Just like your senses and this like relationship kind of falling apart, and but like the memories coming back to you mm -hmm. with tu like touch and huh, taste and cool. feel and yeah. I don't know if I described it very well, but the director. Um, his treatment of the video was just like very, 
very mesmerizing huh. to me when I read it. So I'm like cool. very excited. That's yeah. Exciting. You're filming it tomorrow. And yeah. It'll be out in the next. In the next few weeks. Few yeah. Weeks. So get excited, you guys. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with us. You're the thank best. Thank you. High thank five. you so much. Yes. We're excited for your album this year, and we're excited to talk to you again soon. I'll be back. <laughs> Thanks, yes. guys. We'll see you later. Bye.